And there are new developments on a dangerous outbreak of Ebola in West Africa. Multiple Americans with the disease will be brought back to the United States for treatment. NBC Nightly News is reporting the patient, an aid worker infected in Africa, is scheduled to be brought to Emory University Hospital in Atlanta as early as tomorrow. The person will be treated in a special isolation unit designed to help from the designed with help rather from the Centers for Disease Control. At least 729 people have died from the disease in four countries. And now we're joined by Dr. Michael Fine. He's the director of the Rhode Island Health Department. Thanks for being here, doctor. Thanks for having me. There's been quite an outcry on social media, including our own Facebook page, about the potential danger of bringing these patients home. What are the dangers to have these people being transported back to the U.S.? Well, I, I think the dangers in our society are actually pretty minimal. Mm -hmm. um, places like Emory, which is right across the street from the CDC, they know how to manage and control the potential for exposure um, in somebody with a bulk. Atlanta, obviously a hub for other airplanes and, and flights around the country. Is there anything in southern New England that southern New Englanders should be doing to protect themselves and what do they need to watch out for? Oh, I don't think there's anything we have to worry about in southern New England. We and the CDC both believe that the risk of Ebola coming here is vanishingly small. And it's very important to quarantine these patients even while transporting them overseas, correct? In the plane, for instance. Well, they take real good precautions in the plane. But you may or may not know that Ebola isn't easily transmitted. You have to have direct contact with a body fluid or a needle or, or something uh, that's been used in the patient care. What are the symptoms of this type of disease? Um, they are not much different from other viral illnesses, coughs or throat, headache, um, back pain, joint pain, um, in some cases, severe bleeding. Um, but there's no way to tell from symptoms uh, Ebola I, as opposed to many other things. And, and what can people do to protect themselves? You said it's not an airborne illness, but what can people do? Well, right now, not travel in endemic areas. And mm -hmm. certainly for anyone who's traveled in those areas where Ebola is now present, um, not have any association with the bodily fluids um, of someone who may have been injured or not, or some have been affect, affected or, or uh, not have any contact with uh, the processes of the care of those patients. And of course, pay attention to anybody that may have returned recently from Western Africa. Right, from Western Africa. But, you know, again, uh, those people are being screened very carefully mm -hmm. at, at, the, at the airports. Um, I just don't think there's significant risk in Rhode Island. Okay, Dr. Michael Fine, thank you very much for that information. Thank you. Okay.